Good evening YouTube, I'm Cobb Banner and this is Snarf um, and welcome to the latest of the gaming pickup series that I'm doing. Uh, apologies for the cat in the shop but she is particularly needy today and will not go away so I'm going to do this with her as I've tried to shoot this four or five times and she just keeps jumping up in the shot. Um, I'm going to go quickly as I've got lots and lots to go through today um, so apologies for the whirlwind tour um, but Hopefully, um, we'll see some good stuff there. Okay, first up, we have Go Away Cat. Um, table tennis on the Nintendo Wii. It's um, not a game that I've particularly been searching for. It was just cheap in the charity shop today and cost all of a pound. Um, the game itself is made by Rockstar, um, which is why I picked it up. Um, I'll see how I get on with that. Next, a game that I did want, um, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Uh, I had this on the PS3 um, and absolutely loved it. I'm not too sure how the Wii version will run because I know the Wii is fairly underpowered. But I'll give it a go. Um, the redeeming feature for it will be as if you can actually chop people up with a lightsaber. Uh, and finally, this week on the Wii, I managed to find a copy of Toy Story 3. Um, this looks like it just follows the plot of the... Uh, movie however there is mention on the back here of a toy box mode which might be similar to the toy box mode in uh, Disney Infinity okay next we got some PS2 games starting with a Sonic uh, collection uh, this has got Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles uh, free, Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island, Dr. Robotics, Me, Me Machine and Sonic Spinball as well as a few of the games that were released on the uh, Game Gear. I think I've already got this, but I don't think I've got it on the PS2. Uh, the cover is absolutely manky, and I'm not sure if you can tell that, but it needs a good clean. Um, a couple of games I weren't really looking for this week uh, as well. So Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, just based on the movie. Um, not much to say about this, I've not played it before, I'm unlikely to play it anytime soon but one that can go in the collection and then finally on the PS2 another one that I'm unlikely to play anytime soon is Hitman uh, Blood Money I've never heard of this one um, I know there are a lot of Hitman games I've even got one on the PS4 that uh, game gave me for free when I joined uh, Game Elite but um, something that I didn't already have so glad to put it in my collection okay one last game for the PlayStation format, which is Loco Rocco. Um, this one I have never heard of. I, I know the name, but I don't know why. Um, I needed to use up part of a voucher at CEX, so I just used this to top it off. Okay. Next, we've got some Xbox stuff, um, starting with the Xbox 360. Um, we've got Dead Island. Um, apologies, I haven't took all the stickers off these yet, and... I'm going to probably do that in the morning uh, as it's getting a bit late now. Um, but this game is the Game of the Year edition. It's got a load of extra content including a Bloodbath Arena, uh, I think an extra character Ryder White and the Ripper um, which is a weapon blueprint apparently. Um, a friend of mine recommended this. I've not played it yet um, because I came to it too late in the Xbox 360 life cycle. Um, but this was only a pound today so I figured why not. Um, a couple of sports games next, so we'll start with Tiger Woods 08. Uh, did used to play Tiger Woods games, it's not one though that I'll probably be playing anytime soon as I think I've got a few of the later ones where the gameplay has been refined somewhat. Uh, similarly, uh, WrestleMania edition of WWE uh, 12. This one's in a bit of poor shape, but I'm going to have a look and see if I've got a spare case that I can move it over to. And then finally, on the 360 we have the World Snooker Championship 2007. Um, do like myself a, a good pool game and there is a pool game actually built into this. So I'm going to give this a look um, a bit later. But um, yeah, again, it was relatively cheap. In fact, the last three games I've shown there were free for a pound. And at that sort of money I, I wasn't going to leave them there. Uh, Back to games on the Xbox though, um, so I've got a couple of the Conflict games, so I've got Conflict Vietnam, 
and its predecessor, Conflict Desert Storm. Um, I've never played any of the Conflict games and I can't play these because I don't actually have an Xbox at the moment. But it's getting rarer and rarer to see these games and so when I see a Xbox game or a GameCube game I usually just pick it up irrespective as long as it's not too expensive. Um, I also got Half-Life on the Xbox um, for a pound. Um, this one's missing its manual which is a bit disappointing but I picked this one up just because I've heard such good things about the Half-Life games and so if I do get a Xbox at any point I've got something to play there. Okay, um, I'm just going to move those out of the way and then we'll get on to the main meat of this episode which is whoops a daisy um, the Xbox oh sorry the PlayStation 1 games that I mentioned last week so a little bit of backstory in case you haven't watched last week's episode um, I contacted the chap on Gumtree and he had a load of uh, PlayStation 1 games and he was only asking £20 for them the problem was that he was over 100 miles away so I asked him if he'd ship them and he kindly agreed to and they've arrived this week um, there are also a couple of games in here that I got elsewhere uh, I'll mention those as I go along um, so we'll start with the ones that are not going in the collection which are the duplicates um, for things that I've already got so we have Gran Turismo 2 um, the discs on this are absolutely immaculate but it is missing a manual and the front of the case is kind of broken uh, next we have another one with a bad case, in fact it's completely the wrong case this one um, Porsche Challenge, let's get it in a shot um, looking at it you can just see up here where the the back leaflet doesn't quite meet the top of the case um, that's actually designed to be in a smaller case um, X, oh, sorry, PlayStation games came in two types of cases um, in fact if I move my games around um, the other type of case they came in was this one um, which is a lot smaller, black edged um, and I think that belongs in one of those um, but whilst I've got this game in hand uh, Grand Theft Auto London 1969 I got two copies of this off this chap um, this one is the original one, the first one that came out um, that required you to have the first Grand Theft Auto um, it's missing its manual though um, ironically though this one is the standalone version of the same game which only has its manual um, which is a bit unfortunate because if it was the same manual as that one then I could just throw this one in there and I just have one work, uh, complete game alas I can't one thing that you should be able to see here is that some so and so has put marker pen on it I think this was a practice in one of the shops um, as I've got a few games in this sort of condition um, and I have to say it is most infuriating because marker pen does not come off uh, manuals very well in fact it tends to not come off at all or if it does it takes the ink off underneath um, really disappointed about that um, but it's a duplicate so I'm not too worried overall um, next we have another duplicate Colin McRae Rally and uh, the disc on this is in shocking condition um, which is a shame because as with a couple of these these are duplicate games that I picked up but I picked them up because my games are either platinum editions or are missing parts so I was hoping to complete a few games um, next we have Breakpoint um, a tennis game on the PlayStation I haven't played this but everything's in there the disc is in mediocre condition um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I get paid next week so I'm probably going to go and treat myself to a CD cleaner probably a JFJ Easy Pro or perhaps one of the Disco Devils I need to do a little bit more research because people are telling me the Disco Devil doesn't actually work with PlayStation 1 games and other people are telling me no no it's the best thing for them so I'm just going to go out and do a bit of research and make sure that I pick the right one up but hopefully by the middle to end of the week after next I should have the actual machine and I'll try and post about how good it is or how good it's not uh, next we have this is football this has actually got a really good case it's a bit manky and dirty but the case itself um, is actually all held together the hinges are all intact 
which is about the only good thing I can say about this because it's missing its cover, it's missing its manual and it's in generally poor condition. Okay, now I realise we're 10 minutes in and this is a bad time to do this but I'm just going to quickly rejig the camera because I'm struggling here. Okay, that should be a bit better. Um, okay, next we have the Dalmatians. Uh, this is one of the Midas games that came out um, in the Pocket Money range. Um, these were generally rip-offs of Disney uh, franchises. So I know that this Lord of the Jungle, which is um, Tarzan. You've got the Lion and the King, which is the Lion King. You've got the Dalmatians here. There's Alsa Anastasia. And there's a few others. They're all pretty much the same. The mini games. There's a colouring game in there. There's a tile puzzle, a jigsaw. Just really generally a cheap and not very interesting game. But... They made a lot of them, in fact a couple had sequels, so maybe I'm, I'm misjudging them and they're actually quite fun. Um, or maybe they were just really cheap to make and they put lots and lots of them out there. Um, next we have V-Rally, uh, the 97 Championship Edition. Um, I've got this already, but my copy is Platinum Edition, as with some of the others. Um, really disappointed though because the disc is an absolute wreck. Um, I don't even think a CD uh, resurfacer is going to help with that, but I'll give it a try. Uh, worst case scenario, um, I've got a spare box. And again, the same with this one. Um, Brian Lara, so my copy is a best of Codemasters range one. Uh, I was hoping that I could swap it out because the disc on this one isn't just a plain silver one with some text. It's actually quite a nice one that looks like a cricket ball. Unfortunately, again, the disc is in pretty shocking condition and the case is falling to bits and is absolutely filthy. Um, but when I get my resurfacer, a lot of these games that are damaged, I'm going to give them a, a whiz through. Worst case scenario, I damage them beyond repair and then I throw them in the bin. They're not expensive games. I mean, Brian Lara Cricket, I think, is only about 20p uh, to 50p. So I'm not going to get much for it. So if I'm if it can teach me something, that's you know well worth the money. Um, not only that, but I've forgotten what I'm going to say. So I'm just going to skip over and carry on. Um, next, we have a Bug's Life. Uh, this is on the PlayStation, as all these games are. Um, this is again another one that I was hoping to trade up with. Unfortunately though, um, the disc is shocking, it's missing its manual and it's, a, and it's the manual that I really wanted because just like um, that earlier Grand Theft Auto, my manual has some ink on it uh, where somebody's written a number um, which again is infuriating. Next, um, I've got two of these so I've got a Who Wants To Be A Millionaire and in fact I got three of these. Um, who wants to be a millionaire second edition um, these pretty much follow the the same formula as the show um, where you can answer questions and earn money up to a million pounds um, it's not actual real money I wish it was believe you me um, okay also Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling 2 um, another one that I've already got I'm not in any particular rush to play this because um, I'm not really a bowling fan, but the duplicate, the disc isn't too bad in this one, surprisingly. Um, and the only thing that's really annoying is the stickers because they're an absolute pain to get off. Um, I don't think Cash Generators used stickers that were designed for games or for, for removal, should I say. Um, next, we have WWF Smackdown. Um, again, Wanted to trade my Platinum Edition for this one, but unfortunately the disc is not in a good place. Um, this was actually a really good game, and I remember playing this back in the day uh, with my cousin. And we typically play through a few of the, the games, but one of the really fun features about this was that there was a backstage mode. So after the fight, you would go backstage and, I don't know, Stephanie McMahon and Mankind would be having a conversation and then you'd come along and hit her with a chair or, you know, you'd get involved in some way. It it added to the game and it made it a bit more interesting. Okay, next, and f the final one of the duplicates, with a slight caveat, is Dancing Stage Euromix. The case on this is an absolute write-off. There is no way... To actually rescue this, um, that being said, again it's another really cheap game, so worst case scenario, 
if one of the other ones I break then I have spare bits of cases I can cobble something together but if not it's only a very cheap game and it's not gonna earn me much credit to actually get some stuff that I want for my collection okay so that's the first pile of games on the PlayStation 1 all of those came in a lot as I say they only wanted £20 it worked out less than 50p a game and um, because I also got some games that I didn't have um, so if we start with those we have I'll have to look at this one again because Tunuska or Tung Oscar. Um, never heard of this one. Legend of Faith. Um, it looks like it's a Lara Croft Tomb Raider style game where you explore and you see various 3D environments. It might be really fun to play, um, but for now it's just going to go in the collection. Hopefully, uh, getting that a little bit closer to completion. Also, we got Rugrats Studio Tour. Uh, I actually don't have any of the Rugrats games, and I believe there are several of them. Um, I know most of the characters in the series because I grew up in a house full of young children, and they were watching the show as I was uh, in my later years. Um, not that I'm that old now, but I feel it. Uh, this one just looks like it's a load of mini games. Again, please ignore the cat. She's feeling particularly needy today. Um, okay, I'm going to skip over this one till a little later because there's a bit of a controversy for me in that um, so we have Colin McRae Rally 2 it's missing its front cover but I didn't have this so this is an absolute um, great thing for me I really wanted to add this to my collection um, and also complete onside soccer um, don't know much about this I actually did get this game about six months ago but I only got the front cover and the disc this one's missing its manual, um, but they're fairly cheap to pick up. Okay, uh, we'll go with the controversial one next. So this one, I'm not too sure what to do with. Um, so I own both the single games, but this two games edition, um, I don't actually have, and it's got a unique white spine, um, which might stand out a bit on the shelf, but for now, there's space for it, so I'm probably going to add it to the collection I may change my mind by the time I, I come to actually start putting these on the shelves but just in case um, there it is okay um, so that's the end of the games that I got for the chat for £20 I did also get some other games so I went to CEX and used up one of the vouchers as I talked about earlier to get Loco Roco um, and with that I also got Grand Theft Auto 2 or should I say GTA 2. Um, this one's a bit of a surprise to me, so I thought I had Grand Theft Auto 2, and I absolutely do. Um, what I don't have is GTA 2. So, um, it was only a fiver, I figured I'd pick it up. The disc does need some work, it's another reason that I'm looking at a resurfacer, because, again, it's all scratched up. Um, but, for now, it's a, a good placeholder. Okay. Also, in that lot, and this is actually the reason that I wanted to break uh, the voucher, uh, they had Silent Hill, and it is in fantastic condition. Uh, but there was a little bit of a twist with this Silent Hill, so inside the case you've got the manual and the game, but there was also another manual for Silent Hill in there, and it was the manual for the demo disc. Let me put this back together. Um, now, I had the demo disc, and I've had the demo disc for quite some time. It came with a, a bundle of games that I purchased, and they also gave me a bundle of demos. And I just didn't know the game that it actually came with. Um, so I did some research because I just found the manual um, in the Silent Hill case, and it goes with Metal Gear Solid. Um, so my Metal Gear Solid is almost complete now. So I've got the first disc, the actual instruction manual, the second disc, the demo, and the demo's instruction manual. Now, there is a couple of other leaflets, or there are a couple of other leaflets for this, and I'm going to keep my eye to the ground. I suspect they'll be easier to find than the actual instructions for the demo, um, but who knows. Okay, I've got two more games to go through. Um, so I appreciate this is already a quite a long video. 
Um, so the first one is Michael Owens World League Soccer 99. Uh, I think I've got this on another format. I want to say it's on the Nintendo 64. Um, this was just one that my mum had spotted earlier in the week at a charity shop and said to me, oh, they've got some PlayStation games here. So today I popped over there whilst I was on my uh, travels and sure enough, they had two that I actually needed and this was one of them. Um, what is a little disappointing is somebody um, has got a bit creative with the scissors and has chopped the top of Paul Michael's head off and also the top of the, the cover as well. Um, to be fair, it's in pretty shocking condition, so I might look for another copy. I don't suspect that a football game like this is going to be all that expensive. Um, typically, sports games are quite cheap, but I'll keep my eye to the ground. Who knows, I might get one in another bundle. And then the final game is another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game, and that is the Junior version. Um, this one's complete. It's in fantastic condition. Um, I'm guessing this is just a more child-friendly uh, version of it. Um, probably more at my IQ, so I'll, I'll, I'll give that a try at some point too. Thank you for watching, and from me, and from Snarf, who's not paying attention now, even though she's been fussing. Uh, thank you, and I will see you next time.